The art of treating yourself with respect. Do you honor the person you are each day? Do you respect your own existence? These are questions we often forget to ask ourselves. Imagine a day where every action, every thought, every emotion is enveloped in a blanket of respect. Respect for oneself, for others, and the environment that sustains us. It's a profound concept, isn't it? Respect is not just a virtue, it's a way of life. As we delve into the essence of self-respect, we are exploring the art of treating ourselves with respect. So, let's start our journey to understand more about the art of treating yourself with respect. Welcome to the core of self-improvement channel. Before we delve into the depths of self-respect, let's first understand the essence of respect itself. What is respect? Respect, in its simplest form, is the recognition of the value and dignity of individuals. It's understanding. It's understanding that every person has their own worth, own story, and their own rights. It's acknowledging that everyone deserves to be treated with kindness and consideration, regardless of their background, their beliefs, or their behavior. Respect is the golden rule. Treating others the way you want to be treated. It's about showing kindness, understanding, and empathy. It's about listening, listening when others speak, even if you don't agree with what they're saying. It's about being patient, being fair, and being considerate. It's about valuing diversity and appreciating the richness it brings to our lives, but respect is more than just a set of behaviors. It's a mindset, a way of viewing and treating people. It's about seeing as human beings, not just as numbers or tools. It's about recognizing their humanity and their individuality. Respect is the perfume for authentic connection. It's what attracts us to others and what makes attractive to them. It's what makes interactions meaningful and fulfilling. It's what builds confidence, fosters collaboration and harmony. Respect is the foundation of any relationship, be it oneself. Without respect, there can be no true connection, no true understanding, and no true love. So let's start treating each other and with the respect we all deserve. But wait, there's more. Stick with us until the end of this video to gain deeper understanding and practical tips on how to cultivate respect in your personal and professional life. You will, will also learn the art of treating yourself with respect. Watch as your relationships flourish. Imagine the art of treating yourself with respect as the foundation of your existence. It's the bedrock upon which we build our lives, shaping our interactions with others and our relationship with ourselves. Let's delve into this multifaceted concept of self-respect. Self-respect is the recognition of one's own worth. It's the understanding that you are valuable, deserving of dignity and honor. It's not a mere feeling but a state of mind, a way of life. It's about acknowledging your needs, desires and happiness as legitimate, worthy of attention. When we talk about self-respect we must talk about the respect for our physical bodies. This is the vehicle that carries us through life, it deserves our care and attention. It's about nourishing it with good food, moving it in ways that feel good, and giving it the rest it needs. But it's also about appreciating its capabilities and accepting its limitations. It's about loving it, not despite its imperfections but with them. Then, there's the respect for our minds. Our minds are incredible machines, constantly processing information, solving problems and creating ideas. They are our greatest tools and yet we often treat them harshly. We blame them for our problems, we overload them with unnecessary worries, and we rarely give them a moment of rest. Respecting our minds means understanding their value, caring for their well-being, and using them wisely. Next is the respect for our hearts. Our hearts are the keepers of our emotions, our desires and our dreams. They guide us towards what we truly want and away from what we don't. Respecting our hearts means listening to their wisdom, honoring their desires, and acknowledging their feelings. It means allowing ourselves to feel even when those feelings are uncomfortable or painful. And finally, there's the respect for our emotions. Our emotions are our internal compass, guiding us through life. They are signals, telling us when something is right or wrong, safe or dangerous, beneficial or harmful. They deserve our attention and respect, not our fear or disdain. Respecting our emotions means allowing ourselves to feel them fully, understanding their messages, and responding to them appropriately. Self-respect is not just about treating ourselves well. It's about setting boundaries and not allowing others to treat us poorly. It's about standing up for ourselves when we are disrespected. It's about making choices that align with our values and goals, not those of others. It's about living authentically, not pretending to be someone we're not. Self-respect is indeed a cornerstone of a balanced life. It affects every aspect of our lives from our relationships to our mental health, from our careers to our personal growth. 
Without self-respect we cannot truly love ourselves and without self-love, we cannot truly be happy. So let's start treating ourselves with the respect we deserve. Consider a life where you constantly belittle your worth. Picture a journey where every step is laden with self-doubt, every decision is second-guessed, and every accomplishment is diminished. This is a world steeped in self-disrespect, a place where personal growth is stunted, relationships are strained, and overall quality of life is compromised. Disrespecting oneself is not just internal battle, it's a ripple effect. It extends beyond our minds, seeping into our interactions with others. When we fail to respect ourselves, we also fail to demand respect from others. We accept less than we deserve, tolerate ill treatment, and settle for relationships that are far from fulfilling. The saying goes, we teach people how to treat us, and when we lack self-respect, we inadvertently teach others that it's okay to disrespect us. But the consequences of self-disrespect don't stop at strained relationships, also hinders our personal growth. We shy away from challenges, afraid of failure and miss out on opportunities for growth and advancement. We become our own worst enemy, sabotaging our progress with self-deprecating thoughts and actions. Moreover, self-disrespect affects our overall quality of life. It can lead to feelings of unworthiness, anxiety, and depression. It can rob us of joy, peace, and contentment. Imagine living in a state of constant dissatisfaction, always feeling like not good enough, not smart enough, not successful enough. This is the harsh reality of a life lived in self-disrespect. But remember, it's never too late to change. The first step is recognizing destructive pattern. Then, we can start to cultivate self-respect, to honor our needs, our desires, and our happiness. We can start respecting our bodies, our minds, and our hearts. We can start to see our worth and demand the respect we deserve, both from ourselves and others. Disrespecting oneself is like planting seeds for a barren future. But with self-respect, we can cultivate a garden of self-love, personal growth, fulfilling relationships, and a life lived to the fullest. The art of treating yourself with respect is, it is the lifeline that can lead us out from the shadows of self-disrespect and into the light of a life lived with dignity, love, and fulfillment. As we journey through the art of treating yourself with respect and its profound insights, we invite you to pause and engage. If you're finding value in this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Your likes are a reflection of your respect for the effort put into creating this content. And if you have any thoughts, experiences, or insights on respect, self-respect, or the consequences of disrespect, we invite you to share them in the comments section below. Your comments not only enrich our understanding but also create a respectful community of shared experiences and collective wisdom. And lastly, you haven't already hit that subscribe button. In doing so, you're expressing your respect for this platform and ensuring that you don't miss out on any future videos that seek to enlighten, empower, and inspire. So, take a moment to like, comment, and subscribe as we continue to unravel the art of treating yourself with respect and the power it holds. Introduce yourself to the art of treating yourself with respect. Imagine the potent impact this virtue can bring into your life. Harnessing the strength of self-respect can lead to a harmonious life, better relationships, and a smoother life journey. When we respect ourselves, we elevate our existence, we become the masters of our destiny, and we radiate a positive aura that invites respect from others. Think about a life where you respect your needs, desires, and happiness. You don't just exist, you live. You do not merely survive, you thrive. The respect you have for your physical body, your mind and your heart brings you to a life that is satisfying and fulfilling. Your physical body is your home, your sanctuary. By respecting it, you nourish it, you care for it and in return, it serves you well. It becomes a vessel for your soul to perform its tasks, to experience life in its raw form and to navigate through the journey of existence. Your mind, with all its functions, capacities and abilities, is a marvel that deserves respect. It serves without complaint, processing thoughts, emotions and experiences. By respecting your mind, you transform it into a powerful tool that can help you achieve your dreams, overcome obstacles and navigate through the complexities of life. Your heart, with all its emotions, desires and wisdom, is a treasure that deserves respect. It beats tirelessly, fueling your body and soul, and leading you towards your passions. By respecting your heart, you honor your emotions, you validate your feelings, and you the wisdom it brings. If you find yourself discrediting your abilities, doubting your worth, or dismissing your feelings, remember this. 
It is never too late to start respecting every aspect of yourself. Self-respect is the perfume that scents authentic relationships. It is the shield that protects you from negativity. It is the key that unlocks the door to a harmonious and balanced life. When you respect yourself, you set the standard for how others should treat you. You command respect not by force, but by the quiet power of your self-esteem. You attract people who value you for who you are, and not for what they want you to be. Life becomes smoother when you respect yourself and others. You become more understanding, more accepting and less judgmental. You become more patient, more forgiving, and less reactive. You become more confident, more content and anxious. So take a moment to appreciate yourself, to respect your journey, and to honor your existence. Respect your strengths, your weaknesses, your victories, and your failures. Respect your past, your present, and your remember. Self-respect is not just a concept, it's a life-transforming power. It's an essential ingredient for a fulfilling life, a catalyst for personal growth, and a beacon of light in the journey of self-discovery. It's a power that can elevate your life, a force that can empower your existence, and a virtue that can enrich your soul. Self-respect is not just a concept, it's a life-transforming power. How often do you honor your feelings? Question may seem simple, but it carries profound weight. We live in a world where we are often encouraged to suppress or disregard our feelings, especially the uncomfortable ones. But what if I told you that respecting your feelings, no matter what they are, is a vital step towards self-improvement and personal growth? Let's delve deeper. Consider your feelings as your personal tutors. Emotion, be it joy, sadness, anger, or fear, has a lesson to offer. They give us insights into ourselves and how we react to the world around us. When we dismiss our feelings, particularly those uncomfortable ones, we miss out on these valuable lessons. Imagine treating our feelings as honored guests, welcoming them, and attentively listening to their stories. What if we stopped evading discomfort, and instead embraced it as an opportunity for growth? This isn't about wallowing in negativity but about acknowledging, understanding the origins and learning from them. Consider this, when you feel you try to escape, numb, or suppress the feeling, wishing to replace it with a more positive one, have you stopped to think that in doing so you might be disrespecting your own feelings? Remember every feeling is valid, every feeling deserves respect. By respecting our feelings we respect ourselves, we authenticate our human nature, our capacity to feel a wide range of emotions, and by doing this, we open ourselves up to a deeper understanding of who we are. Respecting our feelings also means allowing ourselves to feel them. It's okay to feel sad, angry, scared, joyous, excited and loved. It's to feel, period. By respecting our feelings, we foster a healthy relationship with ourselves. We cultivate self-awareness, self-understanding and ultimately, self-respect. Therefore, the next time you find yourself trying to push away an uncomfortable feeling, remember, every feeling is here to teach you something. Welcome it, learn from it, respect it. As we conclude, it's vital to remember the art of treating yourself with respect. Your feelings are your life's compass, respect them. The art of treating yourself with respect begins with embarking on the journey to self-respect which is akin to building a bridge to a better you. This process is a transformation gradual calling for time, patience and consistency. The first step is contemplating mindfulness. It means being present in the moment, observing your thoughts, feelings and reactions without judgment. This practice enhances your understanding of yourself and your unique worth, letting you appreciate the wonder that you are. Next we have self-love, the act of cherishing, embracing and accepting your individuality and imperfections. It's about acknowledging your worth and not settling for less than what you deserve. It involves saying no when necessary, and yes when it aligns with your values and desires. Then comes self-care, respecting your body, nourishing it with good food, rejuvenating it with exercise, and taking time for relaxation and fun. Self-care is not a luxury, it's a necessity, a commitment you make to your well-being. Lastly, setting boundaries is a crucial aspect of self-respect. It's about defining the acceptable and unacceptable in your interactions with others. Setting boundaries communicates your self-respect to others and stands up for your rights, values, and peace of mind. This journey to self-respect is not always easy. Struggles and setbacks will come, but each step you take, each boundary you set, each act of self-care, and each moment of mindfulness is a brick in the bridge to a better you. Be patient, be persistent, and above all, be kind to yourself. This is your journey your bridge to build, your practice of, the art of treating yourself with respect. 
you are approaching, with every act of self-respect, the person you want to become. So remember, self-respect is a journey, not a destination. Keep keep building, keep nurturing yourself. The art of treating yourself with respect is definitely worth every step. Scene script, create a manifesto, the art of treating yourself with respect, a promise to, to honor the person you are. Commence by acknowledging that you are one of a kind, an extraordinary fusion of talents, strengths, and passions. This is your first affirmation. I am unique and I cherish my individuality. Next, acknowledge your right to happiness. You merit to feel joy, to experience affection, to relish the richness of life. Affirm, I am deserving of happiness and I will deny myself the joy life offers. Understand that your body is a temple, a vessel that carries you throughout life. It merits your care and appreciation. Tell yourself, I respect my body and will care for it with love and kindness. Your mind, a vast terrain of thoughts, ideas, and dreams, is a marvel in itself. It deserves your respect. Affirm, I respect my mind and will nourish it with positive, uplifting thoughts. Your heart, the source of your emotions, should be acknowledged too. It feels deeply, loves intensely, and holds immense wisdom. Your affirmation, I respect my heart and honor its wisdom and feelings. In this journey of self-respect, remember that your needs matter. You have the right to voice them, to seek their fulfillment. Affirm, I respect my needs and will strive to meet them. Acknowledge your right to boundaries. You have the right to distance yourself from people or situations that exhaust you. Say to yourself, I respect my boundaries and will not allow them to be violated. Lastly, remember that your journey is unique. It's not a race or a competition. You are here to live your life at your own pace, in your own way. Affirm, I respect my journey and will not compare it to others. This is your manifesto, your daily commitment to self-respect. Repeat it, believe in it, live by it. Let it be your guiding light, illuminating the path to a life where you honor and respect yourself in all your unique and wonderful glory. Make the art of treating yourself with respect your life's mantra. Remember, you deserve your own respect. Today we've journeyed through the importance of honoring your needs, desires, and feelings. We've uncovered the power of respect, not just for yourself, but for others, and the environment you inhabit. The road to self-respect begins with recognizing your inherent worth. It's time to start this journey, to stop blaming and start cherishing the beautiful mind within you. Embrace the art of treating with respect and transform your life. Until next time, stay respectful. As we wrap up this enlightening journey through the art of treating yourself with respect, we would be thrilled to listen to your thoughts. Did the video strike a chord with your emotions? Did it alter your perception of respect? If you found this video useful, do not hesitate to hit the like button. Your likes expand our reach and help propagate this essential message. We encourage you to share your thoughts, encounters, or queries in the comments. Your contribution fosters our community's growth and supports us in curating content that resonates with you. Lastly, if you haven't yet, click on the subscribe button. By doing so, you become a part of a community committed to self-development and shared respect. This also ensures you stay updated with our upcoming explorations. We appreciate presence and involvement in this art of treating yourself with respect journey. We meet again, continue to cultivate that respect within. Remember, it all starts with you.